Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Prism Basketball Blaster Edition. This is a 10-box half-case random team break number 21 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into the action. So one spot gets you two teams. So let's double you up, Sir Mix-a-Lot style. There we go. And there's all the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times for each list. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. The final time, and eleven. The final time. There you go. Sometimes you have to give it, give it the power of the force. T.J. Leonard down to Danny Connell after eleven. Six and a five, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. After 11, we got the Sacramento Kings down to the Memphis Grizzlies. This is how it shakes out. Good luck, everybody. T.J. Leonard, Sacramento Kings. Scott Ecker, you got the Knicks and Sixers. Jesse with the Hawks. Fred with the Pelicans. Nice. Kevin with the Clip Show. Rich with the Spurs. Fred with the Hornets. Rich with the Thunder. Peter with the Blazers. Fred, Bulls, Jazz. Jesse with the Pacers. Alan with the Bucks. Joe with the Wizards. Peter, uh, one of your last ball mojo teams, Orlando Magic. Daniel with the Celtics. Joe, Pistons, Peter, Nets, Joe, Heat, Allen, Rockets, Scott, Cavs, Joe with the Warriors, Daniel with the Mavs, Nuggets for Kevin, Danny, you got my Lakers, uh, Peter Maloney, you got the Timberwolves, your other last Bob Mojo team, Suns for Scott, TJ Leonard with the Raptors, and Decon, Memphis Grizzlies. All right, so... While you're considering trades, Rich is saying his two teams for the Knicks. OKC Spurs for Knicks. While you're considering trades, let's pop open this case right here. Prism, Blasters, I got the right one. Let's pop this open. And we'll see which 10 we're going to do. these boxes in such a way <laughs> that, where is it, two, four, six, eight, ten, and I think on the, the top camera, the Nick cam right up there, you can see me arrange these boxes here. So there's ten right here, and ten on this side over here. So let's roll the die. I'm going to select that red one back there. That looks like the right one. We'll go one, two, three right here, and four, five, six right there. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do this side right here. Break 22 is already sold out, so that's going to come up after this. I'm just going to set this aside right next to me. Elixir, what's going on? Um, no, you do not, unless you are expecting something, unless you like got into something yesterday and you're expecting something. But if your current orders are the right spot. All right. So now let's slide these over here. I did not notice any, Philip, any more of these blaster cases, so this might be it. Unless there's some hiding in the in our in our big hit garden. Alright, so yes, as long as you bought it, pre order that NT football break with your new address, then you should be good. If your order confirmation has the old address, then definitely email us and let us know. Hey guys, here we go. 
All right, so I don't think anyone's trading, right? So let's print and rip. You know, just be safe, Elixir. When we break those next week, you may as well. And if you get something, you may as well just email us and just kind of give us a heads up. Just to double check, Jaspie's case breaks at gmail.com is our email. All right. So, 10 box, half blaster, random team 21, prism edition. There's the final printout, no trades. And there you go. One autograph or memorabilia per box on average. Oh, okay, Elixir. Um, I would I would still email us next week. I, don't, I mean, NTs. We don't want to we don't want to mess around with that. We want to make sure we're on the up and up. So next week when we start breaking those, definitely shoot us an email again just to be extra safe. I don't want your NFL shield going somewhere else, potentially. Fingers crossed. Philip, when you woke up, you thought these were optic blaster breaks. Philip. Philip. Come on, man. You got you to gotta have your coffee first, then check Jaspies. Philip was not caffeinated yet. And baseball hit packs sold out. Nice. So we'll add that to the schedule after this break, and we'll keep pushing on, ladies and gentlemen. Now remember, even though it says one autograph or memorabilia, they're mostly going to be memorabilia. Autographs are fewer and far between in these blasters, but there's always at least... I want to say a handful, of a few per break, a handful per case, I think, generally speaking. But for these breaks, what you're really gunning for are going to be the, um, are going to be those parallels. The silvers, especially the rookie silvers, especially. All right, good luck. Our first relic is Nikola Jokic. That's going to be for uh, Kevin and the Denver Nuggets. Brandon Ingram Green. Remember, the Green are not numbered in Prism, but they will ship. Isaiah Roby Silver will ship. Kobe will. We should. Kobe should ship. Robert Covington will ship. Probably just just veteran commons. Jordan Clarkson. And we got Bowl Bowl. Another Denver Nugget for Kevin. Thanks, Elixir. Crab at the back there. All right, let's rip open a couple other, a couple more boxes here. Thanks for making us part of your Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we got a busy one already. A lot of breaks filling up. Schedule in the chat. I'll have to go through orders at some point because I know I got to add the baseball hit packs to that schedule too.
All right, another two boxes here. There's Dennis Smith Jr. relic. That'll be for Scott and the Knicks. Mike Tower, what's up? Does the Game Show Network have reruns of Who Am I? You mean the game that we play? America's favorite game that's been sweeping the nation? Um, they should. I suppose we, we can dig up those videos and send them to Game Show Network and be like, hey, you want to you wanna run these? Sure, that's exactly how it works. There's Matisse Tybel. You don't think it's safe to drive taxis right now? I did hear something on the news that the taxi industry, because no one's going to airports, have been have been hit pretty hard. Andre Drummond, Relic, Pistons, Joe with the Pistons. Mike Connolly, that's Jazz Edition. And that's Kelly Olenek right here. All right, another two boxes. Oh, because of the hat. I thought this was more of a... I thought I was going for more of a golf look today. Taxi cab driver. Like like the like the black cabs in uh in in London, Maybe all those guys. All right. Every time I wear a hat like this. My mom sees me. She goes. She she thinks I look like one of the uh, one of Michael Corleone's bodyguards when he escaped to Sicily after punching that cop. You guys remember that? She says I look look like one of those guys. I think she's scared of those guys too. There you go, yeah. Maybe get a vest and should I just go go full Sicilian Michael Corleone bodyguard next week. Maybe I'll do that all next week. After he hit McCluskey. A cop, a crooked cop member when he earned his jars washer. And if Clemenza puts a gun where I can see it, I'll kill them both. <laughs> a cop, a crooked cop. Tom, Tom, the news, the papers would love a story like that. Yeah, I think they might. Cody Martin relic going to Fred Williams and the Hornets. Grant Williams silver. What are you going to do? Huh? Nice college boy. Ain't like the army where you can shoot him from a mile away. Got to get him close and bada bing, you get blood all over your nice Ivy League suit. Jalen Noel, Peter, with the Timberwolves. I don't watch that movie a lot. Emergent, John Morant, goes to the Grizz. That'll be for Danny. 
All right, four more to go. Have not seen anything significant. Some nice cards. Don't get me wrong, some nice stuff, but we're looking for like a John ja Morant Silver or like a Zion Silver, Hachimura Silver. Looking for something like that. Maybe some autographs. I haven't seen any autos yet. I just have a photographic memory, Rich. A cop, a crooked cop. Michael, where's Michael? And they have to tell him he's in Sicily because he shot McCluskey, then he has to go all the way over. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, in, this, in these wild times, in these wild times, probably a good idea to uh, re-watch Godfather 1 and 2. Rewatch it a few times. They're really good. For the young kids, it's a little slow, but if you're into that genre, I think uh, it'll be it'll be pretty engaging if you really just give it a give it a go. Trey, what's going on? Mike Tower wants recommendations for a movie or TV to watch if you're spending time at home. Budget on Godfather was under $7 million. What's that in today's money? There's John Morant. Not silver, but still a good John Morant for Danny. Mike Tower, you're watching zombie apocalypse movies for research? Yeah, the, those, those are super accurate. We're watching Wagon Co Train, Joe. Kobe Silver? Wagon Train? Wagon Train. Roll them, roll them, what roll them. <laughs> I don't remember Wagon Train. Kobe Silver, that goes to Danny Connell. And Gorgi Dieng for the Timberwolves, Peter Maloney. Man, Rudy Gobert, this guy. <laughs> Man. I guess in a weird way, he really kicked off the whole shutting down of sports, and maybe that prevented a lot of people from getting it while we figure out the whole testing thing. So we have him to blame, huh? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Darius Baisley, OKC. That'll be for Rich Schmidt. Yeah, I guess in in a way, Rudy Gobert maybe did save the United States. Really kicked. Oh, nice Zion, purple wave. There's the Zion for Fred Williams and the Pelicans. There you go. And a silver DeAndre Hunter is great for Jesse as well. Send them to China. No, Rich, they're they're starting to figure figure their s out over there. You just need to quarantine him or something like that. There you go, Mark Rubin saying Godfather produced in 1972 for seven million, which is only 45 million dollars in today's money. I don't know if that movie gets made today. If you think about it, Godfather. At that, I mean, they put a lot more action in it. That's for sure. These days, wouldn't be wouldn't be that slow paced. I don't think they'd put like an unknown, I mean, Al Pacino is a relatively unknown actor at that time. The studio didn't want him in there. I don't know if that would happen with a major motion picture. It would either be like a, in today's money, it would be like a Godfather would, would be either a $15 million indie picture or it'd have to be like a $150 million like period piece. There's no in, no in between.
Is that Zion 500? Nice, Fred Williams. There you go. All right. Last couple boxes. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for making us part of your Saturday. I know it's wild times out there, but I appreciate you spending some time with us. Rui Hachimura, a sensational relic jersey for Joe Pearson. Right, yeah, to be like Stallone in like Brando's spot or something like that. Hey, Michael. Where's Michael? There's LeBron James. That's when he's in the hospital bed. Kuz, silver. And we've got Kevin Love, who I think is one of the, uh, I think now growing number of players who have been donating some money to arena workers. Right, those guys need the game day revenue. So, good job, good on, good job by Kevin Love. Zion as well for New Orleans, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And there's Andre Roberson and Andre Roberson. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Random Team 21 of 2019-2020 Panini Prison Blasters are in the books. Another one coming up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you for that one. Bye-bye.